Sorry for the delay, everybody. Um, technical difficulties. And I can assure you we will get all of these ironed out just in time to go back to live meetings. So um, no one panic yet. Let's see, I did speak with Bob Medeiros um, the other day and the only correspondence we had over at the town hall was a notice of town meeting. So there was nothing else in the mailbox. Does anybody else have any updates, correspondence or anything? Doing that? No, okay. Uh, Mark, do we have any minutes? Started them. Oh, that's good. That's good. No. All right. Well, this is going to be a very short meeting because we do have to um, log out and then log back in for the forum um, at seven o'clock this evening, our second and last forum. We had some really good advertising, excuse me, through the town uh, robocall and website. And I would like to take a moment um, to thank the town hall for doing that for us. And I would also like to thank Sherry and um, Jack and Bob and Jim for the wonderful signs that are around town. You guys have done an excellent job of uh, keeping a list and marshalling everything. So it's nice to see those around town. So the project is getting some discussion. And let's see. Okay, Mr. Units has joined us. There are just a couple of things that I would like to touch base on this evening. Um, I think we need to figure out um, number one, the update on the Clemmy property, how we're doing for a purchase and sale agreement on that. And um, oh my word, I have just completely gone blank. Well, while you're thinking, uh, I have <laughs> I have lunch with the Clemmies on Thursday, so hopefully that all goes well. Okay, and you're you're really thinking that we will have that in in place for town meeting for when questions are are asked. Yeah, that's what I'll be telling him Thursday that we got to make sure we have it signed by then. Who's buying lunch, you or them? Yeah, that, that <laughs> that's a good question. <laughs> Okay. Bring a and, pen, Mike. Yeah. <laughs> so that is uh, your meeting with them on April 1st? Yes. Okay. Easy, Bob. <laughs> All right. Um, I don't mean to be this way, but I'm seriously having a complete blank. I'll talk about nothing while you're thinking. Um, I dropped off more pamphlets at the library, at the uh, donut shop in the center of town, at the post office in Chartley, and at the Chartley Country Store. So somebody's picking them up for something. So at least oh, we can end up there. And um, I didn't hear or I haven't heard any complaints and I don't know if anybody else has, but uh, some people are not following, following good sign etiquette. Um, two or three people had signs dropped off at their front lawns and were very upset. Um, and I said, well, here I am at your front door and that's the way we do it. We ask you first. I don't, it's not that I don't trust Sherry, but it's uh, always better like, um, I can't think of her name, Bonnie's house. I went by her house 17 times and uh, the car wasn't there, but I didn't leave a sign until, um, oh no, a booklet until she was home. And when I went to go to her house, there was already a sign on her front. Write it down, Dinah. I, did, I, am, I am right now, thank you. There was a sign on her front lawn, on her front porch. So, um, if she needs a man to go out and actually stick that in the ground, I'll gladly stop by, so. Lucky Ooh. for you, Jim, I am plenty man enough. And uh, it is out there now in the ground. And I got it from Jack. Okay, I uh, 
Just wanted to give you a chance to take a shot at me because I thrive on that kind of stuff. I think I just did. There you go. And I want to thank Peter. Um, I went to his house in the rain. He wasn't home Sunday. He must be a busy man. His dance card, but he, uh, yep. he had a sign too. I showed up courtesy of Bob, and um, it's putting well on my lawn, and I'm voting yes on it, and we're going to ignore all the no's and vote yes. Okay, Diana, you can have the meeting back. Thank you. No, I was just, I was having a moment um, years ago, maybe seven or eight years ago, I actually had that question at a finance committee meeting. I was in for a emergency transfer due to flooding. And one of the finance committee members did ask me if I would like to have a man come help me with the project. And the three women on the finance committee, I thought were going to murder him at any spot. So Jim, you're very lucky we're in a Zoom meeting right now. Um, <clears throat> what I wanted to talk about a little bit this evening was town meeting. Um, we are getting close and we need to figure out how we're going to um, navigate this. And Mike, perhaps you can help us. I know if we are in, um, I know how to do it perfectly within a gymnasium or an auditorium where you can have a PowerPoint show and all this, this other things. Being out on the football field how are we going to make sure that people can see what we are, what we're talking about? This is, um, you know. It's going to be tough other than a handout. And uh, I can't think of any other way. Okay. And we have the two boards at the town hall for a town meeting. Um, all right, so we have we have the two boards that we can leave when people are registering and signing in. Okay. But if we're going to do a handout, what needs to be in that handout and what information are we looking to um, get out to town meeting members on, on the day? Jim? I think the handout he's talking about is the booklet. Um, I know I have probably 35 or 40 and Bob probably has 150. I know that's not enough, but that should be plenty for a majority of people who might want them. Not putting words in Mike's mouth, but. Do we have that many booklets left over? Uh, I'll, I'll take a ton on what I have. I don't know if I have 150. Okay. I have some. And I'm up, but what I think what I was thinking, Mark, did you want to say something? Did we order more? I thought we had the 500. Did we get more than that? No, we, we do have, we just got one order of 500. Yeah, no, but I'm no. thinking we need some sort of budget sheets or, you know, I don't know, I'm looking for suggestions here. Um, the sheet that without the 500 something thousand on it, that just talks about what a sheet that would talk about what it is for each individual, um, homeowner, mm -hmm. um, we could make something up using that, uh, website that the state has where we put the, um, value of the home or the value of the, uh, um, cost to the debt for the first year mm -hmm. it already has our tax rate in there and then it just calculates for all the different homes something like that okay i i i'm mentally thinking like it at least a four sheet handout um mm -hmm. something that would cover you know the fields the the uh COA we'll Community Center Town Hall, and then the budget impact, just to be able to give it out to people. How many people do we think are going to be attending this town meeting? Oh, jeez. I would think a lot. I, of well, I, I'm, I'm going to say the last town meeting, I would say there was 150 people there. I don't think you'll get more than two. No, I know it's a very important issue and the charter is an important issue, but I'm not picturing more than 250 or 300. 
but I don't think that'll be money well spent and we may get criticized for publishing it because most people are coming to the town meeting with their mind made up and giving them something to read and distract them for 10 minutes, I don't think is in essence is gonna really help us at all. But if you, if the majority of people feel that way, then fine, hand out, kill some more trees and hand out some paper. I, on, on numbers, I would think you're gonna have a lot more than that. I agree. You're gonna have a thousand between, people. Um, maybe, maybe you might not reach a thousand, but I'm thinking 800. Wow. Okay. At least they thought, they thought that the last time, and well, the last, the know. last, the last time we had a debt exclusion would have been the high school project, and I think there were over a thousand people for that. Yes, we were in two rooms, weren't we, for that one? At least, yeah. I think we were in two schools. Right. Okay. We we're at the Yale and at the high school. I think that <clears throat> I think you might want to see what happens on April tenth. Yep. I think that if it passes April 10th, then you'll have a better idea of, of numbers going into town meeting. Okay. Because I'm just, <clears throat> I think, you know, I know when the planning board does zoning articles, they usually have a handout to tell you where, where the zoning articles, you know, are targeted and what will be affected. So we'll wait until after, after the, uh, the election on the 10th. I think you may just want to before you try to get people working on copies for a town meeting. Right. Okay. <clears throat> Mike, um, did you see what Jack had put together for Facebook? That sheet that he had put together, I think he had help from James about what it would cost ta taxpayers. Um, I don't, I don't remember seeing that. No. Okay, maybe I'll have him send it over to you. Cause that was, that was helpful information that he put all over Facebook. Mm -hmm. Was that an annoying for everyone? <clears throat> It was on that and then all the other pages he shared it. Very, very clear to understand. Okay. But maybe we circle back, Dinah. To all right. The 10th. Okay, I think that's a good idea. I just, <clears throat> I'm just, I'm trying to make sure that as we get closer to it, we do have our ducks in a row. Um, and then Mike, if you could explain just a little bit more um, the process. I realize this has to pass at both. If it passes at the town election and does not pass at town meeting, do we have any additional options? Um, if, if it passes at the election and it didn't pass at town meeting, you would have an option, I believe, to come back to a town meeting. There's a certain time frame it has to be within, and uh, I'm not exactly sure what that is. 90 days or whatever, but I'll check. Okay. And yeah. then if the opposite occurs, if it fails at the election, but passes at town meeting. Mm -hmm. If it fails at the election and passes at town meeting, you would have to schedule another election again. So I guess at, see what happens. Um, on the election and then you'd have to come back and meet, decide, do you want to move forward at that next town meeting or do you want to, you know, that that's a decision you're going to have to make. Okay. Now I'm just trying to get the process set out. Um, right. So, and I don't think, um, you no, know, unfortunately we don't have uh, anybody from the public here to, uh, to participate in this, but it's, I think we need to have some sort of a, at least a game plan that we know in advance, you know, is mm -hmm. there. I personally still think this is going to pass. So, okay. And um, can I just ask another question? So Mike, if, if it fails at the election coming up, but it passes at town meeting, we would have to schedule a special town election, correct? Correct. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And is there, do you know, is there a time frame, time frame for that or? I think there is, and I know we have it because I know uh, town council provided us with all that information. Okay. And that would be, that would be helpful to have. Okay. Would there be any impact if the charter passed on the 10th? Um, you would still need to have the voters 
approve it. So um, if if the if it passed, if the charter passed and um, the debt exclusion passed at the election, then if town meeting rejected it, I would have to talk to council, but I would imagine the town council could bring it back up or be, you know, they don't, it's still, as long as the voters vote for it, if the vote is voted against it, and then we didn't bring it, say, say there wasn't an article on the town meeting warrant, if the council brought it up and the council was in support of it, um, then it would still uh, have to go to a vote. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it's, you still have to have a ballot question. Okay. But if the council was in and the ballot question passed this April and say we were already out of council form of government, you wouldn't need to go to town meeting, you would just go to the council and they would have to approve spending the money. That's basically what town meeting is. If the voters vote to support this uh, article, uh, this question, then it, town meeting is just authorizing the expenditure of the funds. Right, that's what I wasn't clear on. So if it passes at the ballot, then it needs to pass at the May 8th town meeting. So obviously the charter doesn't take, the charter changes don't take effect right. immediately. Um, I didn't know what the time frame was that the charter changes would take effect to eliminate town meeting. And yeah. there would have to be a special election to form the town council which that date would obviously not be named until after April 10th. Right. That's not going to, that wouldn't be, there has, there's a time frame with that. So it's not going to happen until June. Right. Okay. Okay. No, it's just, we, we have a lot of moving targets here yeah. and I think, you know, we just need to, uh, to have the dates in mind. Um, Basically, I think, you know, the, the work of the building committee is done other than providing, you know, information at public meetings about the projects. Uh, Mr. Viveris, can you think of anything that we need to be doing or aware of from your experience? Not that I can think of. Um, the, 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 the things that come to mind are things that we've discussed numerous times, and that is you know, the condition of the existing facilities and, you know, um, making sure everyone understands that, I guess, but to the extent possible. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, well, some good then, pictures. There were some good pictures on Facebook um, of the condition of uh, both the uh, senior center and the uh, town hall. Yes, there were. Yeah, and, and code violations that are you know difficult to correct. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if everyone was on that last Tuesday uh, meeting, um, the info session, but I was telling people if you weren't on, I was telling people about uh, the engineers from train that came into the town hall and just looked around with their mouths open and like. I don't know what we could do to this building. <laughs> There's no way to exchange air out of this building. So, mm. the accessibility, you know, um, is it's not just you know building in fire code; it's accessibility codes. Mm. Okay. Okay. Well, um, our next meeting then is scheduled for April twelfth which is the uh, Monday following the election, you know, the ballot question. Oh, that was the other thing I just wanted just for my own personal curiosity, because I will be very nosy the night of the election. How are election results uh, disseminated at the end of a end of the day? Jim? Um, I'll handle that because I have something to add afterwards. Usually, uh, Lucia posts the results for the newspapers and everything else on a wall in the election place after they're counted. So whatever time, I think the polls are closing at 8. By 8.30, she has the results on a, posted on the wall. And um, is that, you know, since in the time of COVID, um, can, we, can the public still go in and look? 
Yes, the polls are open. You can go in, you can go in to vote and you can, they let the press in. Oh, okay. Um, I've been told by an official. Uh, that <laughs> That's why you need women around, right? That is still five Thank o'clock. You. <laughs> okay. Um, so at 530, you will have the results if, unless you want to hang around at five o'clock, but she, she usually takes the tallies and, uh, checks them out. And usually it takes about a half to three quarters of an hour. And then she posts the results from the ballot boxes up on a wall. And that way there, it saves her from answering 800 questions from the press and everything else. And the public, usually the candidates come in to see how many votes they didn't get and everything else. And I also have a question. Yes, Jim. Question. I thank, have, well, thank you. I have three signs left over. I'm going in to work the ballots, to work the polls at uh, nine to five, I guess. So I'll be going in at 8.30. I will gladly put up three or four extra signs at the entrance to the school, which is allowable under the law. Okay. All right. Okay, Honor, well, <clears throat> you're gonna have anybody out there holding signs that day? Not it me, would be nice. Yes. I know you'll be bite my tongue to say what I wanted to say. <laughs> I'll be sitting in a chair. It would be very nice to have people out there to, uh, holding a sign. I have one. I think it makes a big difference um, to have that presence as people are entering because I would be very surprised there was not a strong presence from the opposition and it just it gives an impression as you're as you're entering so mm -hmm. it's important i think to have a strong yeah. presence and so, i i agree with bonnie i if i was not working i would be out there um also with some pamphlets because people are going to have questions and it's one way to get rid of them i don't want to keep store them in my garage forever so and Dinah, um, the town clerk does post the election results on the website that night, unofficial okay. numbers. Okay, so um, the polls open at 9. People usually start arriving about, what, 8.30? They open at 8. I think it's 8 to 5. 8 to 5? Uh, she shot me up. She shot me hours this year. I... I, my source is usually always correct. Um, see what happens when she's not. Um, I would say nine to five is correct. I think she shortened the hours because this was only like two or three offices and also um, only the two ballot questions, regardless of how important they are. What? She, she said eight to five. Eight I was five. listening. <laughs> Then maybe okay. you should just listen to all the women that are on the meeting as well as your wife. <laughs> and Jim, if you need help putting a sign in the ground, just let us know. <laughs> oh, he's gone. <laughs> uh, yes, Bob. And I know my wife and I will help uh, hold signs outside. You know. Okay. Um, and I, 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 I volunteer to be there. Is there anyone yeah. else on the committee who volunteers to be there? Who should we organize um, sign holding through? So if I talk to people and I know, you know, there's. I'll gladly volunteer, Bob. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah you, they can contact me if you want. Um, they, can, uh, they can use me. Okay. Yeah, that would be fine. And we All do right. have signs, a uh, couple of signs left over. I have some signs too. You have some signs that we can use. We may okay. want to bring them from, you know, our yards to the school if we don't have many. Um, depends on how many you have. So no, we have we have enough. Yeah, I was I was thinking about taking some down, but the problem is you have the town meeting after the election, and mm -hmm. being a positive thinker, when they vote yes at the election, it'd be nice to keep the signs up where they are rather than. Oh, no, absolutely. Yeah. I just mean that I would bring my own for the day and then put it back. If that's <laughs> so I'll be at your house 7 o'clock? 
the next morning putting up the sign. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't think I can handle it, so I may I may have to ask a man to help me with that. Just send your dogs out. I'll go away quickly. Okay. Well, uh, so it might be um, it might be a good idea too to see if through the the COA board if you can get any more volunteers helping. Yeah, and I, I know, and we've done this in years past. Sorry, my dog is fighting with me. Um, when we've done this in years past, we set up like hours, like a couple hour shift. Mm -hmm. So we have people rotating out every few hours, so they're not standing out there from eight to five. Yeah, yeah, I think a two hour shift would do it. So it would be eight to 10, 10 to 12, 12 to two, two to four. Yeah. Okay. And I think we should have at least three people per shift. Because as I think you the said- the morning tends to be busier in terms of a, 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 a <clears throat> heavier people. presence. Okay. Uh, so what do you think, Bonnie? I, I haven't held the sign before. <laughs> well, <laughs> I have some sign holding experience. Um, yeah, I would just say as many people as you can get for the morning and then the three people minimum for the rest of the day, I would say eight to 12 probably you'd wanna have. As wanna many have people get. as we can. As many people as you can get. 10 to 12 is probably the busiest time. People will be in and out all day, but the vast majority come, I think, pretty early in the morning or before noon. Okay. Bye. And you'll want to have a tent if it's sunny or it's raining, <laughs> just to be able to um, get some, you know, respite from the sun because it can get hot out there. Um, in the past, people brought, you know, drinks and snacks just to be able to offer to anyone that's there. Um, it's nice to have the signs on stakes instead of, um, you know, just the wire that goes in the ground. Um, but if we don't have the stakes, if there's time to get them, I think that's nice to yeah. have. Got to hold them. I'll be, I'll be married. Not, we'll be there. Gonna be taking my votes and then go to the polls and go to home play, then go back there and report the results on the Peter channel. Okay, does anyone um, have a tent? No, I don't. No. I'd have to check. I, I don't know if we still have it or not. Okay. All right, so I'll be sending out emails to everybody. Uh, Bob, you don't mind um, checking with the COA board members? No, I'll do that. For that, uh, Sherry it out on Facebook as well. Yeah, Sherry, you can you can get a hold of school people. I'll be haranguing the uh, membership of the building committee, and um, we'll get this coordinated. Yeah, because we've only got we have less than two weeks. Yep. So okay. All right, well, we're going to have to uh, close because we have uh, nine minutes until, or no, 19 minutes until the uh, the forum begins and we need to take a few seconds. So yeah. I, I will entertain a motion to adjourn. The motion okay. to adjourn the meeting. Jim's okay. lottery second. All in favor, please raise your hand. Very good. Thank you everyone. And um, since this is our last meeting before the election, I, I personally would like to thank all of you thank very you. much. Thank you. Yes, Mark. Uh, so our next meeting you said is April 12th at six o'clock? Yes. And, and that's the day of my birthday. I'm gonna be 35 on April 12th. Yay, Thanks Peter. Yep, 35. That'd be great. No guy, you. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you, um, seriously, thank you, everybody. Um, it's been a, a fun three years to bring this project to uh, to the end, and uh, I've enjoyed working with every one of you. So thank you. you know, Mark, you may be able to have four or five half-page minutes for us to approve. I uh, eventually, yes. <laughs> I'm writing them down. Hey, everybody. I notes. I just didn't. <laughs> English yet. Okay, thank you very much, and we'll see you at the forum. Good night, everyone. Good night. Yeah, at the forum at seven. <laughs>